Before this tutorial on how to set up a power line adapter begins, please watch my previously uploaded unboxing and overview video containing more information about the Trendnet TPL 406E power line adapter. This is the device that I will be using for demonstration in this tutorial. To install your power line adapter, you need to go to the location of your router and then just take one of the power line adapters and an Ethernet cable. Connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the adapter and then just simply plug it into the wall. Now remember it has to be plugged into a wall outlet. Then take the other end and connect it to your router. Like so. So the next thing you need to do is go to the location where you need internet access. Grab the second power line adapter and the second Ethernet cable. And it's the same step as you did with the first one. Just connect it into the port and then plug it into the wall. Once again, make sure it's plugged into a wall and not an extension cord. And then what you need to do is take the other, um, sorry, the other end of the Ethernet cable and plug it into the device that you need to provide internet access to. For example, it could be a laptop or a router or an access point, whichever one you need to provide internet access to. I'm just going to connect it to my laptop here first. As you can now see on my laptop, the two devices automatically connected with each other and we now have internet access. So we now have internet access, however our network isn't fully secured. As you can see here it says network type public. What we want is to have that as private. Um, the reason why, like I said before, if someone is on the same circuit as you and they happen to have a power line adapter, they could also connect to your network, which could be very bad and it's very unsecure. Um, so what we want to do is go back over to the first adapter that's connected to the router. So next you need to locate the sync button on the adapter and then just hold it for two seconds. And now it's um, trying to sync with the other adapters that's connected to your circuit. So what you want to do is go back to the second adapter and push the sync button on that one as well. Now you have 120 seconds to do this with all adapters that's connected to your circuit. And now just simply push the sync button on the second device for two seconds as well and you should see a flash. When it flashes that's when you know that it's detected another main power line device that's trying to encrypt it with a private security protection. As you can see on the user utility, it now says the network type is private and it's device 2 as well again. Um, that's pretty much it. Your, your power line adapter is usually set to a public encryption by default. So that means it's just to do with plug and play. It makes it easier for everyone, but it's not fully secured that way. So this is what you need to do is install the user utility. Go into the utility and then just uh, fix the setting a little bit. Like I was saying before, you're not going to get the full speed. As you can see, it says uh, 193 megabits per second and it's capable of uh, reaching as far as 500. You're never really going to get to 500 and a lot of uh, different um, aspects come into play. For example, where you plug it into, um, you know what time of the day it is all that can change if you have different appliances like microwaves and kettles working at the same time it can also change it and um, so yeah that's pretty much it and this is a really good power line adapter as, as i said before this is my uh, second kit i would highly recommend it and if you're looking for wi-fi access the best thing to do is connect one of these to an access point or a router preferably an access point because then your network would be just the one network because if you connect it into another different router you'll have a different network well anyway like i said before thanks for watching i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up